In the absence of knowledge regarding asphalt plant, a bitumen plant, the hot mixing, the burning, in the absence of knowledge in our land, the best thing that people can do is acquire that law knowledge. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. The wheel has already been invented. It has already been covered by CDC, EPA. In case you do not know, EPA stands for Environmental Protection Agency, Center for Disease Control. The environment protection is also part of the federal government. So they, they have done enough research, enough studies on almost everything, including the subject matter that we are talking about. So in our land, our product, our, our pollution control folks have got no idea. Our general people have got no idea. So I ask you a simple thing. Have you learned English? If you, can you read? If you can read, and if you know science a little bit, you can put all this together and acquire that knowledge. It's not so difficult. It's a lot more easier to understand than the Bible. If you can understand and the clergy can make you understand revelations and all the interpretations, this should be a lot more easier to understand. And on top of that, there's enough, enough videos and presentations by scientific scientists and explaining and proving you with statistical data telling you a whole lot of things. Why can't you learn that? Why can't you learn that and use proper methods? Ignorance is not bliss here. In this case, ignorance is not bliss. You cannot pretend away. This is not a time when like an ostrich, you hide your head and pretend that everything is fine. No, that's not gonna work. So with that in mind, I am going to share with you a, a blog which has got enough details. Start here. I'll be putting in more things and you can verify this. You don't have to trust it, but at least you can learn from it. You can analyze it critically, understand it, go figure. If you can't read and understand and use it, you know, things that you will never in a million years be able to fund it, research it and do it this way, use what is already available. Always learn how to use the best practices uh, public information that is available, made available for everybody else to use in this world. If you can't use that, stop saying you are educated. You are as good as uneducated tribal people. Sorry, I have to hurt you, you know, I have to hurt your ego a bit so as to make this, drive this into your dumb skulls. I sincerely hope that got your attention. If it did, you will proceed, use all the resources. There is enough of it, okay? Those are critical information. It has the toxicity information, how a bitumen plant disperses it in the air, and how far it will go is nothing like what you have seen so far. You have got it all wrong. Most of you got it all wrong. Don't listen to any of the so-called pollution control. Money talks with them. In the first place, they know nothing. They are just eating the salaries and uh, enjoying their life. And on the sidelines, they are taking in money from uh, organizations like Kuti Garden. So that, that's all they do. The, so in, even their paper, that's not even what they report is not even worth the paper that they write it on. You can essentially take their reports and flush it down the toilet because those reports were essentially written by Kuti Karan's agency. Kuti Karan's people wrote it for them and that's why it's worthless. I heard about this eco lab mentioned in one of Jesse's talk and statements and uh, that was the basis on which quotes were some, somehow convinced. I have tried to approach eco lab and uh, provided some realistic, I would try to talk and they wouldn't talk very much. Not very good at speaking the English and a mixture of Malayalam, uh, they couldn't, uh, they wouldn't talk to me entirely. So they said, uh, why don't you write in and so I make a request and then we will we'll provide that information, then we can talk. No, no, nothing has come. 
back from the results. Nothing, nothing. So anyway, I'm going to call, call back. And these kind of things do happen. Uh, a fancy website about empty shell inside.